Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and last year, 2018's Row by Row theme was music. And Quilting Confections is sharing their music row with us, and I think you're really going to like it. Their block was this great 18 inch square with a reverse guitar. They started by sewing two inch strips together and then cutting those two inch strips apart to make all of the components for this block. I want to make this a little bit longer so that I can turn it into a placemat and I want to speed it up so I won't be sewing all of these strips together. I'm going to be using solid fabrics. This long strip would have been cut at two and a half inches by 18 and a half inches. I'm going to add two inches on that and make it four and a half inches. The center is nine and a half inches by 18 and a half inches. I'm going to make this 10 and a half inches. This last strip was cut at six and a half inches. I'm going to cut mine at eight and a half inches. And that's going to make this a little bit longer for me. The fabric is from Timeless Treasures. It's this beautiful beige fabric with gold music notes. And this beautiful Christmas swirl fabric. They both have a gold in them and I want something high contrasting. So I won't be making any strips, I'm just using that solid fabric. On the back of the pattern, you're going to see some pattern pieces. We need to take the end of that guitar and place it up at the top. So we're going to have one long strip. Now this pattern is done in half because you have half of one color and half of another. But I'm going to change the sewing directions just a little bit and I'm going to cut this guitar all as one piece. So I'm going to trace this guitar all in one long piece. And I've put some halfway marks throughout that pattern. And I've traced this right on top of my Heat and Bond fusible web. And I'm using a light one because I will be stitching over top of it. So the pattern has been traced on the top of the paper and that bumpy glue side is on the reverse. I'm going to do the guitar all in one piece and then fuse this on top. And to do that, I'm going to take two long strips of fabric and I'm going to stitch them together. You're going to be able to get this out of two strips of fabric at four and a half inches and I would cut it 19 inches just to give us a little bit of space to play with. So let's sew those two strips together. So those two strips of fabric need to be the size of that guitar. And press the seams open and flat to the back. Put this aside and stitch the back fabric together. So my pieces have been cut at four and a half inches, ten and a half inches, and eight and a half inches. And I've cut them at 19 inches just to give myself a little bit of an extra space. And I've also taken those seams and pressed them open and flat. This is going to be the body or the background fabric to that guitar. The guitar is going to go on these two larger pieces. We need to decide if we want the bottom of the guitar on the one side or the other because that will make a difference on how we're going to fuse it onto the guitar fabric. And I'm going to follow the directions so that the larger part of the guitar is at the bottom of the two larger pieces. And since it's reversed, I can just turn it upside down. So I have the fusible web side facing up and I could be sure to put that fabric in the right position. Just lay it right on top. You're not pressing, you're just making sure you have the placement right. From here you can turn that over. Now you're going to be able to press this nice big guitar piece onto these strips. The center seam is going to go through the center of the guitar. So that center placement line is going to line up with the center seam. To save a little bit of time, as I was drawing the pattern out, I'm going to be needing three red dots and three white dots. So I drew them just on opposite sides of the paper. So I'm going to have them all pressed at the same time. And following the directions, press the fusible web down. Once this has been fused on, let it cool and then cut out the outside shape and cut out this little circle shape in the center. And then cut out those little circles. We can put these aside. And being able to see through that paper is very helpful. We get to take this paper off, fuse that guitar onto our main fabric. 
Just be careful at these corners where the seams are matching so that the seams don't come apart. And gently take off the paper. Now I have my guitar ready to go. If you want to have that centerpiece black, you can take another piece of black, fuse it on underneath so that when you lay it over top, that black will show through. I only want two colors in this quilt, so I will not be using the additional. Now I can take this to the iron and be very careful and line up all of my seams. With the guitar fused down, we're going to be able to put on our three dots. Peel off that fusible web and press them on. With everything fused on, it's done. I'm going to be able to do some type of a finishing stitch around the outside if I want to do a little zigzag or a little blanket stitch. I've replaced the pieced fabric with the solid fabric, which speeds this up. And having that stitched right down the center and fusing it all at once also saved some time. Having the seams pressed open and flat for the applique piece and the back piece assures that we're going to have it nice and flat. We won't have any lumps as we go to stitch this together. There are many different ways you can use this pattern. It's great for this 18 inch square, making it a little bit larger for placemats, or we can turn it into a table runner. The music note fabric came in a black with gold and that white with a gold. I've done the same method by having the pieces cut out in full. So I have those seams coming down the center. The pattern piece is the same. I have just put them on opposite. So one side is dark and the other side is light. And then for the other one, they're reversed. And by doing that, I was able to reverse them on the pattern. These larger center pieces are cut at six and a half inches. The smaller strips are cut at two and a half inches. So I have a 24 by 43 inch piece. I've kept the guitars a little bit to the side. So if I put something in the table here, it's not going to take away from the guitars. These reverse patterns are a lot of fun to do. You can have them going on angles. You could even take the guitars themselves and put them in blocks. So many different possibilities and it all takes only two fabrics. With those two fabric combinations, it's very modern and very fresh looking. You could do more than two colors and it still would look quite amazing. I would love to know what you would turn this into. And a special thank you to Quilting Confections for always sharing their patterns with us. It's always nice to see what other people are working on. And thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.